Hey, what's up fam? This is Coach Ken Diesel, checking in from ATP Fitness. Come on and join me for a new full body go to workout. Let's roll. What you'll need for today's workout is just a few simple tools, a medicine ball if you have one handy, a sturdy resistance band, and then a light to medium weight kettlebell. And you're ready to roll. We're gonna get this thing kicked off with a four minute free flow with the rope. Let's try to stay within that singularity of shifting the head from over foot to over foot, keeping the hips behind your rib cages as you roll that rope. Let's get the shoulders and the hips involved with this entire movement pattern. Remember, you wanna keep accessing those green zones or the outside edges of your feet as you roll. Let's do it, y'all. Right now, I'm getting the underhand pattern going. This is my underhand, what I call an underhand sneak. And I'm just keeping that flow going left to right as I roll that rope. I like to use this warm up as a good time to work on my breathing patterns and my breathing mechanics as well. So try to utilize nose breathing throughout this entire duration of the warm up. That way it's setting you up for success for the rest of the workout. Oh, we getting in there, y'all. All right, now remember, as you shift weight, as long as you're loading on the outside edge of the feet, when you release your position, that heel should release outside of the foot. There we go. I'm really honing in on keeping my hips behind my rib cages throughout this entire process. All right, we're gonna switch the direction of our flow without turning around by, boom. Tossing the rope, now I'm going overhand. Now I'm gonna take it to a figure eight pattern, still rolling left to right, still keeping the hips behind the ribs, and still keeping my head to go over foot to over foot. Follow that pattern, follow that flow to rope. Let's roll, y'all. I'm gonna take it into that matador pattern. Nice work. All right, we're gonna move into that last phase of the rope flow warm up. This is that freestyle flow. So this is where you just kind of let loose. Whatever floats your rope is a winner. Let's get it. About 10 more seconds, hang with me y'all. Three, two, and good. All right, so we're gonna dish our rope just for a little bit, we'll use it a little bit later for a tool for the next exercise and a warm up. Before we do that, we're gonna knock out what I call leg swings. And then it's a sequence of three different leg swings. All you need is a wall or something good and sturdy to brace against. What I'm gonna do here is my first set of leg swings is lateral, so I'm gonna have Access on the green dot of my foot or the outside ball of the foot. Heel lifted off to the ground. Head forward of that foot that's on the ground. And I'm swinging the foot, the opposite leg underneath the body. All right, all we need is 10. Trying to maximize that range of motion, getting a little bit further into that range with each rep. Good, now we're gonna switch legs after those 10 reps. Next one is a knee drive leg swing, pulling knee up, kicking back. Remember, when you get behind the body, you wanna maximize the internal rotation so that toe should point in towards the front foot when the leg kicks back.
right, the last one is the hip flexor rotation. What I'm doing is I'm loading on the outside balls of the feet, pulling the knee up, working it around the imaginary hurdle. All right, opposite leg for the win. Woo. All right, follow me for that last bit of the warm up. I got my rope. All you need is a sturdy rail to do your go to share sit against. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna set the hips firmly against this rail or any wall space that you have. Load the weight on towards the outsides of the feet. That's crucial, crucially important. That positions us for what we call inside ankle bone high, which is very important for any motion that we're doing in the workout today. I'm gonna take my rope about shoulder width apart, pull it directly towards the sternum, pull the chest out over the knee, over the line where your knees are, and then chin tuck towards the chest. And then I'm just gonna hold this sitting position for 30 seconds. Just set it and forget it like a crock pot. Let's go. Very important, you wanna keep those shoulders back towards your back pockets, spine as long as possible. That's gonna make room for our diaphragm to move in and out for full breaths. Ooh, I broke a sweat already. You know it's about to be good today. Keep breathing it out, y'all. We got about 10 more seconds. Hang in there. Three, two, good. All right, we're gonna do it one more again, y'all. One more good one. So that one, should, you should definitely feel it, getting those glutes cooking, all right? That's the crock pot for the glutes. It's sitting in that back chain and letting the tension just flow right through the glutes. When we do it properly, we don't have to squeeze the glutes. We could just recruit movement through the gluteals. All right, one more time. So I got the hips loaded back, ribs forward of the hips. Load into the outsides of the feet, or what we call your green zones or your green dots. Those knees should point outside away. And then pull that rope towards the sternum with a long spine. I'm gonna sit in a little bit deeper. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit. Ooh, yeah, I feel it, chills, let's go. Let's go to time, y'all. We about to crank this. Ten seconds, maintain. We got this. Mm. Three, two, and out. All right, we're gonna ditch our rope for the rest of the workout. But yeah, there it goes. That sweat dripping, y'all. All right, so we're gonna jump into the floor portion of our workout. I'm gonna go ahead and go one exercise at a time. This first one, this is kind of like a Jacob's Ladder. We don't have the machine here, but we can simulate the movement pattern and getting that head shifting from one column to the other. So what I'm gonna do here is I have my step and it's configured in this way right here to where it's gonna allow me to put my foot low, but load up head over the foot. All right, notice that back leg that's on the ground. There's an internal rotation on that hip. So that toe is pointing in towards where the next step is, which is the foot that's on the block. Now all I'm gonna do is start with the head over foot here. Rotate, driving the knee, and bringing the head towards the knee. So wherever the knee goes, wherever that lead knee is, your chest is looking to go in that direction. Right now my chest is to the right because my front knee is to the right. Chest to the left, front knee to the left. Here we go.
Oh, baby, I feel that glue cooking. All right, we're gonna do that same thing on the opposite leg. What we do on one side, we gotta do on the other. Let's go. Whew. All right, load it up. You wanna pressurize that green dot or the outside ball of the foot. Bring that knee towards the front, the chest towards the front knee. And here we go, ready to drive. Here we go. Three, two, and out. Nice. Yeah, it's heating up now, y'all. All right, so now we're gonna move into our next movement. This one is called a pullover to a squat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm loading up. The block is very low that I'm sitting on, which is gonna allow me to keep my feet well within my columns. From here, all I'm gonna do is lay back towards on the bench, and I'm pulling over just as if I'm doing a sit up. I'm gonna roll that weight and transition it forward into my green dots, keeping the hips behind the ribs, spine nice and long, and when you stand up, I'm staying in my back chain. So your hips are always behind your rib cage throughout the entire pattern. What you don't wanna do is drive the hips forward, because now I'm preparing to move backwards, right? I don't wanna move backwards, I'm moving straight towards the target ahead of me. So I'm loading, reaching, getting into that low squat position, boom, now I'm ready to take off. Halfway there, y'all. Stay with me, let's go. Make every rep count. Beat that burn, y'all. When you recruit the glutes, you ain't gotta squeeze them. The motion does it for you. Three, two, we getting there, we getting there, we cooking with fire now. All right, so we just got one more exercise on the day for the floor portion, and then we taking it to the best part of the day, Circuit City. So what we got here for our last movement? I got my kettlebell. I'm gonna set it on the low part of my bench. And to get my starting position, remember, it's all about how you start. So if you start in a bad spot, it's gonna make it difficult to get to a good position once the exercise starts. What I wanna do is position that weight into the green zone of the front foot. So I'm ankle bone high as opposed to ankle bone low. Once I'm there, internal rotation on the back hip, chest is over the front knee, secure your weight. Once I grab it, what I'm not looking to do is just stand up. What I'm really seeking to do is to drive my energy straight ahead to the target, boom. Reload, make contact with your low bench, boom. Bring it to the opposite side. Feeling it, y'all. Three, two, nice. All right, we gotta go one more set. Bring it to the other side. Hang in there with me, y'all. We got this last set. Let's do it. Woo! Once again, I'm setting the bow on that inside leg. Knee should point slightly out. I'm looking for that 22 degree mark when I load into that green zone. Corner the back hip. 
So you're pushing and you're leveraging off the outside ball of the foot on the back leg. Set up your position. That knee should be over the, the chest should be over the front knee, and then you're ready to drive. Three more reps. Yes, we're there y'all. All right, the floor portion is done. Catch me on the flip side. I'm gonna get a quick swig of that blue frog, some of that liquid gold up in me, and then I'm gonna catch you on Circuit City. Let's do it. Hey y'all, blue frog too. You gotta get you some. It's got your B vitamins and just enough caffeine to keep your workout kicking. Let's go. Woo! All right now, as promised, the best part of the workout is here. We got Circuit City and we're doing a quasi speed round format. We're just doing two sets of each exercise. That's one set on one side, one set on the other side of the body, and then we're gonna rotate to the next station. We're gonna take three laps through this room and we're gonna do it in real time. Every set is 24 seconds of work, eight seconds of rest, and then when we transition to the next station, we'll give ourselves an extra 10 seconds to move to the next station. Let's roll, first exercise up. You just got your resistance band. I got my handle, and I'm gonna go with the bow in the front leg, corner in the back hip. I'm stepping back, pulling elbow to hip, and stepping back forward, but staying in your back chain. What you don't wanna do is thrust those hips forward when you step back up. Always keep the hips behind the ribs, always keep your eyes on the target down range, and let's roll. 20 seconds, ready, set, let's roll. Remember to breathe with each rep, y'all. Good. All right, eight seconds rest. That's just enough time for a couple of breaths. Try to settle that heart rate down, transition to the opposite side, and then we're ready for takeoff. Here we go, 24 seconds of work. And time. Woo, all right, follow me. We're going to the next exercise. Here we got a landmine switch step. I'm gonna load that landmine over to my bow side column, press it out, switching steps in the process, and then loading it slowly towards the opposite column. Let's go. This particular exercise, I'm gonna do two sets of the same exact pattern since I'm alternating side to side. Set your bow in the front leg, corner of the back hip. Bring that bar to the chest of the landmine, elbow to hip, now I'm ready to roll. I'm gonna switch steps and thrust out at the same time, keeping the hips behind the ribs, and then loading to the opposite side. We're rolling, y'all. I'm too tired to put it down. I'm gonna hold on to this bad boy. We got one more set of the same exact movement pattern. Get ready for it. Here we go, ready to roll. 
Set that bow. Boom. And let the glutes do the work. And time. All right, y'all. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling every bit of it. So we're gonna move on to our third exercise in Circuit City. We got our step back, loading head over foot. Boom, into our chest pass. We're gonna stay on the same side this time. So we need to do two sets, switching side after each set. Let's roll. All right, fam. We're moving into our third exercise in Circuit City. This one's just a simple step back with the wall ball chest pass. Remember our tenets. We're trying to stay loaded on the outsides of the feet, keeping those ankle bones high on the inside and keeping the hips behind the ribs throughout the entire motion. I'm simply gonna step back, load the elbow towards that front side hip, push to the wall and then reload. Let's go. One down on the mass. Gonna switch sides on on the next set. Hang in there, y'all. Just turn up the heat one notch at a time until it simmers. That's the name. Here we go. Opposite side. Let's load it up. Follow me to our next move. This move, I'm setting up that same stagger. Chest over the front knee, both set in the front, ankle bone high, corner that back hip. I'm gonna do a tricep extension, throwing the band out towards the horizon. On the way back, switching the feet, reach, switch. Three, two, nice. All right, one more set of that. Oh man, it's kicking in y'all, that burn's kicking in. We gotta keep pushing though. Beat that burn, that's the name of the game. Here we go, second round of it. Let's go. I'm feeling Three, two, and out. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Let's go, we got one more exercise, y'all. Follow me to the finish. This time I'm going rear elevated. So if you notice, I got my slant board, so my better steps already set up. I'm gonna load getting that inside ankle bone supported by the step and keeping that outside rear quadrant of the foot secure to the floor. All right, from here, load up your bar, underhanded, and pull it right to that belly button. This is gonna help you function the rotational aspect of your exercise. Go ahead and put the foot behind, internal rotation, ankle bone high, load up, 
Fire four. Reset. That rotation is key, y'all. Nothing moves in straight lines. We gotta follow the natural spirals of the body. Let's go. Woo! Uno mas, last rep. All right, last set, best set. Let's switch to the opposite side and let's finish this thing out. Yeah, a little sweat don't hurt nobody. Let's get it. Take your time as you load the energy into the bow. Boom, and then fire it out. Try to make it to that bow on the leg that you're stepping out onto. Oh yeah, I felt that one. Let that bar turn. That's your good indicator of proper rotation in the movement pattern. Give me two reps, y'all. We got two reps left. Uno mas. Yeah, yeah. That's a day's work. That's one lap down. We'll take it two more laps, and then we'll call it a night. Great job, y'all. Hey, what's up, fam? This is Coach Ken Diesel, and I got my man Mason behind the camera on the ones and twos. Thank you for tuning in with us. Remember to like and hit subscribe for more info, and also check us out on our YouTube channel or here at ATP Fitness for more.